Hello family, welcome back to the channel, home of the RC community and home of the Patreon that offers the most value out there. If you're interested in the Patreon, the links will be in the description and in the comments as well as the links uh, for the merch. All right, so um, look y'all, we have uh, a lot going on right now. Uh, currently we are at uh, 95K holders. Uh, we came in a little bit under the 3K that we usually um, that we usually come in, but that's okay. Uh, the the only important thing is progress okay you want um any progress is better than no progress okay so we got to look at the big uh picture of things okay and if we look at the chart all right uh we did have some uh big sell-offs after a big buy but um mostly uh this is a combination of you know uh, a lot of the new holders coming in along with uh a lot of individuals panic selling you know uh because of how the market is moving but uh, in my opinion, when you look at other projects uh, in crypto, okay, a lot of those projects are down uh, even worse. All right, and the thing is this right here. You know, uh, nobody will point out uh, when Saitama is on on the ups. Nobody will point out when Saitama is on the ups. Uh, of course, you have some supporters to do, but uh, mostly the critics, uh, they wait for times like this, uh, you know, to climb from under their rock and spew all of their misinformation. But... Uh, am I worried? No, I'm not really worried because, um, you know, uh, downtrends are just temporary. They're just temporary. And uh, if you look at the big picture, uh, Saitama has been doing a very good job of fighting the food. They've been doing a very good job of fighting uh, negativity, you know, uh, within uh, the community. So when you look at this project right here, this project fights harder than uh, most projects uh, out there okay because they are up against uh, a lot at times all right but when we look at the big picture um it does not look that bad all right like i said i'm, ver I'm very impressed uh, with this project and stuff like that and uh like i said when you compare it to other projects uh that are up against less okay that they, they don't that they, you know they're receiving a lot of praise from uh, you know the communities out there multiple communities out there. They don't have to go up against that So really compare uh, this situation to a lot of the other uh, crypto situations out there All right, and the thing is this we're on a countdown now. Okay, we're on a countdown to um, uh, 100k holders it may take in my opinion. I think we're going to guesstimate it, it may take somewhere between uh, it May take somewhere between two days. Okay a day and a half or something like that because we are still averaging uh, close to 3,000 uh, to 3,500 uh, holders a day. We are still averaging that, okay? So if we average that over a period of uh, two days or a day and a half, we should hit that goal. So that will be a major milestone. We all wanna keep an eye on that. And if you look at um, Twitter, okay, a lot of things uh, are starting to go on, okay? And look, this is what I told individuals, all right? I told the individuals, as time goes, okay, as time goes, you are going to start seeing, uh, you know, uh, things uh, be completed. Like I said, everything is in the process. Things are in the process cannot be completed right away. You have to have patience. So if we look here, it says Bitmine has completed uh, Saitama token migration and provided users with a swap service it says the um saitama token will be automatically swapped to uh saitama v2 at a rate of uh one million to one all right so look for every one million tokens you get um one uh token all right so basically if you got like uh 50 uh like if you got 50 million or 50 billion or whatever it may be you'll get like um uh 50 uh 50 000 or you know whatever it may be five thousand, whatever it may be all right, but as we see, things are starting to get completed. Individuals were complaining about Bitmark. They were complaining about Bitmark for uh, a while, and Bitmark came through. Like I said, everything is a process. Y'all have to understand also that it's not just say Thomas side that they have to get things done. It's other sides too. When you're when you're commingling with uh, these other entities, they're called partnerships. Okay, you don't partner. Okay, and you just have one side doing all the work. You have another side doing their part too. That's how a partnerships form. That's how partnerships work. If a lot of you individuals out there uh, ever get into any partnerships or any joint ventures out there or JVs as they call them, you will notice that, hey, it's not just gonna be um, on one side where someone's doing the work. 
both of you all are going to have to do work to make this work. And in this situation right now, uh, you have uh, Saitama and Bitmont working together. Okay, you have Saitama and Bitmont working together to get things, uh, you know, laid out for uh, the investors. And look, this is the same thing going on with uh, a lot of other swaps. Now, there are some individuals who are, who are still uh, kind of upset over the BKEX uh, situation. There are some individuals that are uh, kind of upset because they have not received their uh, their airdrops for their trust wallet or they have not received their airdrops for uh, their MetaMask and all of that stuff. And I think it's some other uh, platforms out there also where individuals are waiting uh, you know, to receive airdrops also. Like I said, for each one of those uh, platforms right there, it is a process, okay? For uh, BitMart, it was a process. Individuals were complaining about it. And as you can see, uh, they've done the migration and individuals now have a swap feature on there. So uh, an, a lot of people were sending me uh, inboxes saying, you know, do I have to manually do, do something to switch my uh, V2 uh, tokens over? You did not have to uh, do anything. Um, and that's where a lot of individuals mess up. They mess up being impatient, trying to do stuff they have no business doing, and they end up messing their self up. All right. So do not do that because you're only going to be uh, more frustrated not only frustrated with the uh, project because you're misunderstanding what's going on, but you're going to be more frustrated with yourself because you did not have the patience. You jumped out there, okay, and did something you weren't supposed to. Send your stuff off to some scam individuals out there or, or whatever they got cooked up because they got multiple things cooked up out there. And then you're just going to be fr uh, frustrated with yourself and you're all out of your investment, all right? So um, uh, because individuals were patiently waiting, okay, um, they now get to see the next process and the next step of the Bitmar situation, okay? And now individuals, uh, they're able to, uh, you know, they're able to uh, have a swap service where they're able to swap now. And their um, V1 is going to be turned into V2 automatically without them having to do anything, all right? So uh, we have to understand that, you know, it's all a process. And look, BKEX their situation is going to be coming up uh things are going to be coming to light with them also uh for individuals who are on trust wallet and uh you and um for trust wallet and metamask though look a lot of individuals y'all going to be receiving y'all y'all tokens okay y'all going to be receiving y'all tokens also uh over time all right some may some are going to wake up tomorrow and receive them some of them are going to wake up uh uh, uh you know, in two days and receive them or whatever it be. It's going to happen. All of this stuff is a process and this is how it should be. And the reason why it should be like this is because, okay, um, uh, we want everything to not only go in order, but we want everything to go smooth without mistake. Okay. Because you have, you have to understand this. If we have mistakes, it's just going to be uh, another um, a setback. It's just going to be a setback. In my opinion, we have not had any setbacks. But the thing is this, if we do this, you know, we're going to have a setback and individuals are going to trash the project anyway, okay? So if individuals are going to trash the project anyway uh, because of uh, mistakes of trying to rush everything, okay, why even do that? Why just, you know, just go ahead and do everything in the time-consuming way so we can make sure everything goes smooth and everybody gets their, um, you know, uh, gets their investments, okay, and get their uh, token switch, all right? But, um... Uh, I'm liking everything that's going on. Not really worried about the chart. A lot of, of the uh, footers and stuff and the critics out there making a big deal of it. But look, you will see them not talking about no other projects that are uh, uh, down also because of the market. You will not see that. All right. So um, I want to make this video. And remember, y'all, every now will be history tomorrow. You even have patience in this crypto investing space or lose in the end. You do not want to be a loser. This is my video, and I will catch all of you beautiful investors on the up and up. Audi.